All right, guys, here we go. Welcome to another live workout. It is just me tonight, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna tag the crazy people that always tag when these workouts are going on. So tonight, as we uh, mentioned our workout yesterday, if you haven't caught our leg workout yesterday, I'm gonna add you a quick link to it right up here so you can uh, go directly and uh, check that one out. That was another intense one. We've uh, changed the uh, the whole plan a little bit altogether. So, um, the push and pull that I've done with you guys on Sunday uh, was still part of the old program, so I still follow, was following the old program, but um, I forgot my cap to, uh, to get my, uh, my pre-workout in. So anyways, the um, push and pull that I did on Sunday was part of the old workout, and then tomorrow came kind of a little bit of a surprise. We didn't get a chance to check what was up next, so yesterday uh, a leg workout really surprised us. So now we're going to do two leg words. <laughs> Look, can't even talk tonight. Two leg workouts for the week, and um, if you guys remember the uh, previous workout two days ago, I had that one live too. So I'm gonna post the link to that one right up here if you want to check it out. Um, I mentioned that uh, for my development and to uh, make my uh, legs a little bit more uh, uh, bigger, more defined, more structured, I will be will have to get uh, two leg workouts in per week. What up, Dean? What up, bro? Thank you for joining, my man. It's just me tonight, as I promised yesterday. <clears throat> so I'm just going through the uh, workouts just a little bit to give uh, everybody a heads up on what's happening. So as I mentioned, um, for my own development and for my growth, I will need two leg workouts per week, and that's what um, the mighty phone has decided to uh, to bless us with. <clears throat> so uh, yesterday was one. Later on throughout the week is going to be another one. We're going to reduce the two. Uh, rest days per week to just one um, so today I am going to have chest with just a little bit of back for balance so I'm gonna have four intense chest, ex uh, chest exercises talking is very difficult for me today for some reason uh, <laughs> Four chest exercises for today. I'm gonna go ham on those ones, and I'm gonna have uh, two back exercises, more specifically on the traps. So we're gonna work that upper back a little bit, and at the end, we're just gonna supplement uh, a little bit of shoulder. So one uh, shoulder exercise, just to kind of put the cherry on the cake. So without further ado, the first one is going to be the incline uh, dumbbell isolation press, or the hammer press, I like to call it. Dumbbells together. So I am going to um, follow the same structure that I mentioned two days ago, even though the uh, whole plan is four sets of 10 reps, I'm uh, going to aim today for five sets, and I'm going to go 15 reps, uh, 12 reps, 10, eight, and six, and I'm really going to um, uh, increase the weight and uh, really push the uh, the chest hard today. So I'm gonna aim for a little bit of uh, soreness after today's workout. So uh, having that uh, idea in mind, let's start with the first uh, one. I am going to do a, uh, a warm up set just to make sure my um, shoulders are in the mood and ready to uh, to take on the weight. So this is just a uh, a fake set, but it's gonna do good for my elbows, my shoulders and especially get a little bit of blood in my muscle to have them activate properly and work hard throughout the workout and get the best benefits out of it. mentioned in many workouts before, warming everything up is a very, very, very important. Uh, you don't want to dive into a heavy workout with uh, cold muscles, cold joints, cold ligaments, cold tendons. Um, yeah, that's a recipe for disaster. You are asking for trouble at that point. So um, with me especially, I do have currently my, uh, my tricep is in a little bit of a, um, a problem time. Uh, my right hamstring, so I'm suffering from right right now right tricep, right hamstring, they're still a little bit um, injured and not cooperating properly, so if I don't warm them up well, I, um, I will have a lot, of, uh, a lot of pain in the uh, elbow specifically because of my tricep and in the knee because of my hamstring. So 
Uh, to avoid that, I try to uh, first warm up with a nice light set and then get a couple of uh, swings in just to make sure I'm ready. Once it's warmed up, it's fine, you know, but uh, I got to make sure I cover my bases before I start off with a heavy ass weight. Having said that, let's dive into the, uh, we'll start with the 50s for the first set and we'll try to get 50 repetitions. Ugh. Tackle it on from there. pounders so the other thing that uh, you guys can take note on this one is uh, if you caught the other uh, video yesterday uh, Roman made a good point as well when he was uh, explaining the whole idea of, uh, of eating and everything and that's exactly what I am trying to do to avoid the uh, the whole idea of pills injectables and things like that I'll be straight out honest I don't want to test the waters and see how my body will react I'll test a lot of things to see how the body will react, but that's not one of them. Um, I really don't want to risk having hair loss and all that crap. It's just not worth it. So um, what I'm going to do is, even today, I've started um, packing my meals even more now. So I have more um, homemade food like rice, potatoes, tons of meat. So I'm having a mixture now of chicken, beef, rice, potatoes. Um, beans, everything, just everything on the sun. I try to have at least five, six meals per day, small ones. So I feel a little bit hungry, boom, I have one. Uh, a couple of hours later, I feel hungry, boom, I have another one. So I try to get that, uh, that food in. And then at the end of the day when I work out, I try to get really heavy weight and really pressure on the muscle. The whole idea behind that, tear away at that fiber, then repair with more food the next day and just keep on tearing back and forth, tearing back and forth. I'm having uh, way more protein right now, so I'm going back to uh, three, two to three shakes per day. So um, let's see if I can uh, get that weight even higher now just by eating more. Set number two, we're going to do 12 reps, 60 pounders. <gasps> So it's doing quite well right now. Afterwards, gonna be the incline bench, so that's gonna be a fun one. Whew. I'm gonna keep it at the 60s. Oh man! Yeah, I gotta add a little bit more in the uh, in the boob area there. As I mentioned many times before, I gotta get these bees to maybe a C or something. Uh, <laughs> see how far we can take them. Okay, all right. Set number three, 10 reps. don't take enough break and that's the other thing I don't want to do either is I don't want to take too too much break uh, it's not a way to challenge the muscle right so you give it time to recuperate just enough time to be able to bang out those sets I mentioned many videos before if your target is 10 and you can hit 8 at least of that you're doing good 
If you're hitting four, then it's probably considering you try to rest more or get a lighter weight. Oh man. Second last set, eight reps. Oh man. Okay. Here we go. Hear that barking, don't we? Somebody's going out for a walk. <laughs> oh man, a little bit too much excitement there. <sighs> going out for a walk. That's the highlight of someone's day. Oh boy. One more set on these ones. Six repetitions only. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, it's only six, so we're gonna venture off to a 70 pounder. Why the hell not? We gotta get that challenge in, right? So, let's see how many out of six I can push out. of six reps I'm gonna take it to that uh, that level again of doing uh, five sets 15 12 10 8 and 6 and I'm still going to do the uh, the funky tempo as well they're recommending uh, two seconds going down one second hold one second up and then back down so uh, 2 one, one, oh. let's start I'm gonna mix up a plate on each side and I guess we'll try a 15 for the first round. What do you say, think that's doable? Considering I have a 2-1-1 tempo, uh, let's see, we need to uh, just strip it down. We'll strip it down. No shame. Damn it, no flipping shame. Whew. And a little bit of an extra pump over there. All right. It's a little bit too low, but I haven't died yet doing bench presses, so. What's the worst that can happen? Oh my goodness.
this one. Oops, I didn't put it on the sled. That's okay. Let's take five off. We only got seven, so in these kinds of cases, pause, take some weight off, continue on. You got a target to hit, so you gotta get close to it at least. So it wasn't necessarily the weight on this one, it's the amount of, uh, of reps that I've given myself and the tempo. Two seconds going down, one second hold, one second coming up. So that one hold with the extreme stretch of the, uh, the chest, because what you're trying to do with that one is you're putting your chest in a full stretch mode. Now at that point you have the option Either you're going to pull in all shoulders and triceps, make the chest do minimal work, or you engage that freaking chest and get it to go from a huge stretch to a complete contraction. And that's how you build the muscle. You don't just push with every other body part possible, at which point your quads and your glutes are hitting in to try to do a bench press, but you're trying to get the chest engaged as much as possible. Core stay tight, chest engages. That's why I failed two times, but I didn't give it up. I just got the weight a little lower and I finished my 15 reps. <laughs> Damn straight down fire, bro. That's what we're trying to do. Fire them up. <laughs> All right, set number two, 12 reps. I'm going to, uh, I'm not gonna give in on the, uh, the challenge. I'm gonna put a five pounder on each side. And it's 12 reps for the next one. Same tempo. Let's see if I can finish all this in one shot. Here we go. One, two, one, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. up the weight. We're gonna give him a quick breather and continue on the challenge. I got only four reps, so <sighs> can bag out at least, at least fucking three more, right? Come on. Seconds. 
Have some blood come back to this chest. My oxygen. Oh. And we're gonna do 10 reps with the same tempo. I'm gonna try it. And then the last two, eight and six, I'm just gonna bang them out. Boom, 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 boom. Just rep out. So those ones I'm gonna challenge myself. Minimum eight, get as many as I can out. Minimum six, get as many as I can out. Which at that point is gonna be a little bit uh, not that easy to do. Okay, this set still stays normal, quote unquote. Let's get her. to do, fun when you see the results, but it ain't easy doing it. I push hard to get something out of it. And the whole thing of it is, it's an all day thing, it's a lifestyle. So if I want to gain the weight, if I want to prep for a show, if I want to lose weight, if I want to do whatever, it's not just that one hour that I'm in the gym that matters. The whole day matters. So if my goal is by the end of the week, let's take some extreme examples here, but if it's Monday and by the end of the week I want to be five pounds lighter, I need to make sure that in that week I take every step necessary, dot all my I's, cross all my T's, to make sure that I'm eating right, make sure that I'm hitting the workout, I'm doing the cardio necessary, and I'm hitting that point. Just the one hour per day of the gym is not gonna cut it. So, in some cases that I've seen over the years too, that, um, you know, we're doing process with clients and doing process and stepping forward and then something happens, either life, work, or whatever, uh, that sets them back a little bit so, they can't continue on throughout the day to eat the, uh, the food or maintain the diet or maintain the home workouts and they would only come and see me the one, two, three times per week, whatever, which at the end of the day is not going to be enough. So if you don't put that work, you either slow down your results, your progress, or you start going backwards, depending on how much you impede the work that you do in the time that you allocate. So be very careful when you do hit the gym, when you do set fitness goals, because, yeah, you can cheat here and there and enjoy some food, enjoy life, do this, do that. But if all you do every day is enjoy life, you know, in the bad food, quote unquote, type of way, because, oh, at the end of the day, I'm just going to work out, I'm going to burn it off. That's not really how it works, right? So, yeah, you maintain the movement and the blood flow, but that's about it. The goals are going to lack a little bit. The results are going to lack a little bit. So... Hence, even with me now, I need to make sure that the other 23 hours out of the 24 that I'm not in the gym, I eat properly and I watch what I do and blah, 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 blah. You know, it all chains together. It all works together. Okay, enough philosophy. Second last set, minimum eight reps. Ugh. No pause. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> 
Ding in. Au! Ah. That's another trick for you guys in the gym. Oh my goodness, that hurt. Each set you gotta push. If you follow the, uh, I think it was the blueprint with, uh, with Arnold that uh, he did that interview. Essentially what he's saying is, each set has to feel like, you gotta treat it like it's your last. So it doesn't matter that you have one more set after this one, or you have 10 more sets after this one, you try and push to either hit your goal, or like I've given myself now, minimum eight. I did 16. Now the next set is minimum six, but I'm gonna push for maybe more. My ideal would be to get 17 reps out of this one. So I'm gonna keep pushing myself more and more and more, and treat every set like my workout is done afterwards. That's how you challenge the muscle, that's how you push it. <laughs> I feel ya, bro. I feel ya. I want to work out hard enough so that you guys can rip the results too. <laughs> All right, just a couple more seconds. More of a breathe. so pumped, it feels like the t-shirt is gonna fail rip any second. I love that feeling. All right, final set of this after that we're gonna go for flat bench presses. All right, six reps minimum. I'm gonna aim for more. Just 14. Still, I pushed it to the limit. Uh, number 15 would not have gone up. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. We're gonna go on flat. This round, I'm gonna follow just as the uh, the program plans it. Three sets. Ten reps essentially on negatives. So I'm gonna go two seconds down, one second up. Two seconds down, explode one second up. So, uh, essentially I'm doing the negatives. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna start with the same way that I finished on the uh, incline and take it from there. It's only two, three sets, only 10 reps, but we are doing negatives. So, let's see what happens. After this one is my uh, stretch push-ups, my uh, lever push-ups. So, that one says 12 to 15 reps. <laughs> I'm gonna do my push-up challenge today with that. So, we're gonna hit two birds with one stone, damn it. Here we go. Uh, too far back. There we go. Uh, one, two, what? Two, two, up. Three, two, up. Four, two, up. Five, two, up. Six, two, up. Seven, two, up. As the bar taps the chest, boom, it blows right back up. So even though it didn't look like an explosive move, like a, like a explosive move, at this point, 
there's not much more explosion going on in these things. So when I come up, I envision that I'm just throwing the bar off on top, on top of me. So in my mind, I'm doing a boom, sudden explosive move, and that gives me the power, the energy, the drive to get that bar up as fast as possible. So that's why you gotta get into your head, because if I were to do the bar alone right now, yeah, sure, I can throw it up really quick, but now I've got weight to it. I've got the fatigue of the other exercises. So it's not that easy to explode it back up. I'm just gonna add five more pounds each side to this thing. Set number two, it's a little bit of a challenge. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, so two more seconds. Two more segundos. Okay, all right, enough, enough break, enough break. It's gonna turn into an official slack. now is keeping that time under tension for the muscle. So the incline that I've done, I've stopped at the bottom. The bar was resting in full stretch mode for my pecs on my chest. Now it's not getting that stretch, it's not getting that break. It's gonna tap and back up, tap and back up. It's a whole nother style that you can throw at your pectorals to again surprise them into growing. last set again 10 again same style and I'm gonna keep the weight the same just so I can maintain control and not die before I hit 10 okay Here we go. We're going to adjust this little tripod at a better viewing level. Here we go. It's all going to be down here. Now, a quick checkup from the neck up. We got three sets. 12 to 15 is what the... Um, uh, the plan recommends. I'm gonna do my push-up challenge too. So I'm gonna do 25, or at least attempt to with my chest right now. It's tired. Two. Just a second. 
in just a second. Oh! That was a freaking fail and a half. Uh, that was a freaking fail and a half. Oh my goodness. 20 reps. Oh yeah. Oh, that was painful. It's the stretch, the deep stretch that you get on these bars. I'm gonna do two more sets of this one and I'm gonna run a quick test for myself. And the fourth set, I'm just gonna do a flat on the floor regular and see exactly how much different it all is. So let's bang out two more sets of at least 15 on these things. And let's run that test after and see if I'm right or not. I'll go a little bit further back here so you guys can see me. Let's even see if I can bang out 15. set like this and I'm going for the flats on the floor. push-ups on the floor, then the decline ones, or rather the stretch ones, not decline. <sighs> not sure who's disproving that uh, theory, but I just want to try it out, okay? I didn't say any of you guys said anything. Okay. push-ups are easier than stretch push-ups. If you had any doubts, you don't anymore. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, let's get you back up to head height. Sorry for the movement. I just gotta lock the legs into place. Now, the one thing that we've done before with the, excuse me, with the chest as well, is we added 
just one or two back exercises to balance everything out. You want to be careful. Most guys fall into this, uh, this trap and work out the chest so much, boom, you start building so much power and tightness in the pectorals that they'll start pulling your shoulders forward. And without realizing it, this is gonna be something comfortable for you throughout the day. And you don't realize that at this point, the back is working extra hard to accommodate that, your spine is. So what you're trying to do is balance out with some strong back muscles to straighten out that posture. Now that, together with putting your head into it and making sure that all day you have a straight back, a tall spine, you avoid so much back pain, so much neck pain, all of the above, just by doing a little bit extra for your back if you find that you have this problem and then stretching the CRAP out of your shoulder, out of your uh, pecs rather. Don't let them be so tight that they're pulling everything forward, okay? I mean, you've, I've seen this many a times and I'm talking about bodybuilders and athletes that know this whole idea, know what it's all about, but because some of them are just into their mind, they're obsessed with the idea that the pecs need to be big, the pecs need to be sticking out and everything. They end up so developed, so strong, and the back is lacking so much that it can't support the strength under normal circumstances. So you need some strong traps to compensate for the pecs. And trust me, at the end of the day, you look so much better like this and being tall as opposed to like this and just having your boobs stick out in the front. It's not all that attractive. So, uh, the next one I'm going to do is bar upright rows to really hit those traps and rope face pulls. So both of those exercises are dedicated towards the trapezius, which is the exact opposite muscle when it comes to the pectorals. So it's definitely, you know, hitting home with all of that. Move my bench out of the way here. I'm gonna keep you guys for uh, the first set a little bit far so you know exactly what's happening. Now I'll bring you a little bit closer up. So the upright rows, lots of disputes on this one. Some people say it's just for shoulders. Some people say it's just for traps. Here's the reality. It's for both. Your trapezius, especially the ascending, the upper part, going to your neck, the mid and the descending need to work in to stabilize the shoulder and allow you to bring the scapulas and the, uh, the arms backward. Whereas lifting up this way also engages the deltoid to bring the bar up. So it's a win and win situation. You wanna do it on back day, you wanna do it on shoulder day. Now, if you go super light with this one, we're getting very technical, very in detail on this one, but there is a way to just focus 80% of the movement on just the delts but that requires light weight and it requires for you to be focused and in full control of how the muscle activates. So this requires a little bit of experience when it comes to the gym, with knowing your body, knowing how to control your body. So for this, what I'm trying to do is, yes, I'm adding more weight and yes, I do want my upper back, my trapezius to activate with my shoulders. So I'm getting a double whammy over there with the whole thing. So the people who say it's just the delts, they're almost right. People saying it's just the back, they're almost right. It's both, based on the movement. You cannot do this kind of a movement and you can even see in the back, however I lift up, if I get my arms up like this with the elbows up, the traps will activate. Look at it, feel somebody's back, and then discuss if just the shoulders are activating or not. Okay, so let's get through this one. Ideally, I have four sets of 12 reps. 
So we're gonna keep it with that one because it's not back day. I'm not gonna worry too much on this one about 15, 12, and 10. Back has to be nice and straight, slightly bent on the knees, and one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, ah, here we go. All right, you know I'm a, I'm a wise ass monkey, so I'm gonna do a face pulse too. Standing today. Flip the sitting, I've been sitting all day. Let's get them standing. This one you guys have seen before, grabbing the, uh, the rope, like so, boom, right to the face. trapezius really targets the trapezius but also the rear delt because you're performing this movement on the arm so the rear delt is activating when you do that so if you do pecs or bench press you engage the shoulder you do upright rows you engage the shoulders right so this is kind of why on chest on back day we throw in a couple of shoulder exercises too. They're activating anyways. They're secondary muscles in most of the movements. So doing a little bit of extra targets them better to promote growth. And definition, whatever point you are in your program. Set two. set let's get a little bit of a another angle here see if we can uh, if we can pull it off out of the corner here again pardon the movement I know it's a uh, it's a little bit dizzying but I'm just trying to see if I can pack out a different view out of this so you guys can get a little bit of a, another move idea so, third set, Whew. tiring. this move Just this. Frick, one thing about this tripod, there's so many adjustments, I get lost in them. Whew. All right, almost there, guys. Almost freaking there. Last set of these two. Whew. Whew. Ah, 
God, this is going to be painful. Ah, here we go. Okay, okay, final exercise, the bent over reverse flies, give one more whammy to those shoulders, and now again I'm going to keep by program, four sets, 15 reps, start off with the 30s. thing good about that one is when you have all of this happening in your chest and your front delts in your anterior chain with all the pushing and the heavy lifting and everything you feel everything heavy forward back to what I was mentioning about wanting to lean forward I just want to go like this all day long by doing these ones it actually helps me feel the the pump balance you know so having it both ways like that Oh la la, oh la la. One second, guys, one quick second. Okay, till this thing loads, I'll do one more set. I don't want to take too much of a break. Keep these muscles going. sets left we got a very comfortable pump going on arms are just feeling massive but nothing compared to the chest and the back second last set set and we're done with this torture done with this torture the workout for today boys and girls mainly chest just a little bit of uh, back to balance everything out we're still keeping our whole uh, shoulder thing to get that mass to the shoulders that development so simple and informative one sorry if I yap too much doing this workout guys 
just had the opportunity wanted to share as much as possible uh tomorrow we'll be on god knows what the workout is tomorrow chances are it's going to be something back related to balance out this one but we'll see what the uh, the phone has in store for us both of us will be here tomorrow there's going to be a little bit of a later one but we're going to bang it out regardless thank you all for joining thank you for watching Dean, my bro, thank you so much once again. You stayed with me through the whole workout. Much love, much love, much love. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Strong Dragon Training. Cal v Muscle's not here, but he's with us usually to bang out and push that extra little bit out of the workout. Stay fit, stay healthy, guys.